Hi everybody, welcome to Gordon Equestrian in Kirk Hamilton, York. Uh, we are a show ring stable. Uh, we are primarily a sports stable, training stable, and we cater quite heavily to the breeding market with competition stallions. Uh, this is our venue that we built over six years ago, and today we're going to make a short video to show you around and to show the facility we've got and how we go about our daily routine and training our horses. So, first stop, tack room. Um, really try to keep the tack room very, uh, although it's beautiful, it's got to be very practical. Um, very hard layering with stone floors, um, the hard, wood, hard stone top surfaces there. Uh, the building's over 100 years old here, so we really have to try to upstand all of its natural beauty. Um, so we try to make it as light and airy as possible, whilst also holding all the natural character of the building. We really try to sort of make sure everything was usable and human and horse friendly. So all of the cast helmet holders, um, all of the driver racks with all of the lining behind, such as the marker walls, saddle racks. Um, also in here, um, so we use bridles wise, shop them on the sport bridles. It's a new collaboration. Um, must say, they seem to fit every horse very, very well. Um, we use all of their exercise rugs as well, coolers. Um, saddles, we use Prestige. I've been a long time um, supporter and sponsored rider of those. Um, we have a bit closet, uh, two cupboards there full of bits, um, just in case. So we have generally a few snapples. Um, everything's obviously watchfully overseen by Rocking Horse Carsten here, who sort of keeps us all entertained. And we're all off to home now. So this is the main block of stables. Um, so this took a lot of designing in the first instance. Um, we took over the place with an old cow barn uh, with an asbestos roof. So we switched the roof, uh, tried to get as much natural light and airflow in here as we could. Uh, to keep it very spacious as well for all the stallions. So there are 14 stables in this main barn here uh, with all the rug holders, bandage holders on the side, the acquisity system that we keep as a database for all the workings of our horses uh, to sort of synchronise daily plans, beds, barriers, exercise, all of that stuff. Um, this side is generally my team of horses. Um, all the stallions stay down here. So, Christian Cassinato, new stallion Chagaloo. Um, as we keep going down there, new horse Concord Blue, Melina, Fleur and Vivo. So that's my main team of seven horses here at the minute. Um, that'll be the next like, the next episode of videos that we'll introduce to all of those. So here we have another five stables. Uh, it's a bit of a separate block off the main block of 14. Uh, originally designed this thinking it would be more for the stallion to be based. Um, but to be honest, the stallions seem to like it a bit more in the main yard, a bit more going on with their sort of daily workings and the daily routine. Um, this is more now where people basically are looking to train, uh, they rent these boxes. Um, it's a bit of a different, quieter setting to the main barn, so some horses prefer it in here. Or we have young horses that when they first arrive come in here, uh, we just sort of integrate them. We don't have too many young horses here, but it just gives us that option then of uh, keeping some here when we're quiet. So here's our preparation area for getting the horses ready. Um, wash down area as well. So we have mimicking on both sides uh, two cross ties and uh, a wash bay. So the same on the other side as well. Uh, we have solarium for the horses as well. Um, very good for drying, also for pre riding as well, warming the horses' body up. Um, bridle racks, saddle racks, um, keep all sort of bandages and boots and everything here. So at least when the horses come out, everything is prepared for riding and then untacked and washed off after riding. So we're into the working area of the, the stable here. So um, big grass jumping arena. Um, I spend a lot of my time out here with them, even on the flat work and everything. Uh, it's all drained and irrigated. Uh, so we normally have a really good surface to work on most of the year round. Uh, when not, we have uh, a 400 meter racetrack around the outside. Um, they're 
built a lot of trot poles on there, canter poles on there, small grids. Uh, I think it's just a different environment for them to be working on a racetrack and seeing jumps and poles in different places rather than just in an indoor arena all the time. Um, everything's built on a slight undulation. Um, I think again, good for fitness training, they have to find their own balance. Uh, learning to jump combinations uphill, downhill, verticals that way as well. I think really good for the mindset of a horse and natural balance and instinct and fitness. So you're joining us here in the viewing gallery part of our indoor riding arena. Um, we use this space downstairs in conjunction with upstairs we have a classroom, a meeting room. Um, so a lot of brands we work with, British Horse Feeds, Speedy Beat, Red Mills, Prestige, all training days here where we invite people in um, at the classroom, demonstration and lectures upstairs and then we use downstairs for congregating, discussions and coffee. Um, the working part of the building is the indoor riding space. Um, the building itself is 65 metres by 35. Uh, so the riding space in there is 33 metres by 60 metres. Um, it's just a sand and fibre surface, uh, no wax. Um, we use rainwater from the roof. It goes underneath into a big tank. And it gets pumped to irrigate the surface from there to keep it consistent and bind it together. Um, one of the big challenges with an indoor arena, I think, is trying to keep the horses motivated and happy in there throughout a long winter period. So we're really focused on natural light, natural ventilation and air. Um, I think it's really important to get as much oxygen in there for the development of clean, oxygenated muscle in the horses and working indoors uh, for up to an hour, hour period. So I think we've achieved that. Sort of, the horses all seem to be happy and forward when they're in there working away.